Hey guys, Gokusum for the one here, and welcome back to another Leap Green walkthrough episode. In this part, we'll be going down the rest of Road 10 and looking around uh, Lavender Town. So once you make it out of the cave, you can actually fight a few trainers if you want to. If you don't want to, I don't necessarily think you have to, but I recommend doing it just for the levels. Now the first trainer you're going to come up against right here is going to be Carlo, Carl, Carl, Carl. I think his name's Carl. But he's going to send out a level 21 Pidgey, and it, this team isn't too hard to deal with. It's it's Pidgeys, come on. We've dealt with these a million times. We should be able to take them out quite nicely. And the last Pokemon that Carl actually has on... I can't tell if this is a boy or a girl, actually, because Carl's usually a guy's name, but this kind of looks like a girl sprite, so... Yeah, she's going to have a Pidgeotto on her team. Uh, Pidgeo is kind of a little, a little bit harder of a Pokemon to deal with if you don't have higher level Pokemon. So if you don't want to get swept by Gust, make sure you bring a and a Pikachu or even a Voltorb if you pick one of those guys up in the last route. Actually, that was part of Road 10 too, but that was before we went through um, uh, Rock Tunnel. This is after. So after you fight this trainer, you can come and fight this trainer right here. He's gonna be laughing at us. Why are you laughing at us, Hiker? Why are you laughing at us? Well, he's going to have a Geodude and Onyx. Nothing too special about this guy. Uh, I actually don't know if Robin could take this this trainer out here. Because Peck and Aerial Ace doesn't do that much to Rock type. So I'm going to switch out right here into my Roshi. Uh, Roshi actually will die from a Rock Tomb. So I think maybe Light Bulb will be our best choice. Just to sweep through these Geodudes and Onyxes swiftly. But there's not that many trainers on this route, there's only uh, three in total, so we're on our second one. Actually, there's four. Um, there's two hikers, I forgot about that. Now, I'm paralyzed. I went for a sleep powder anyways, I misclicked. I thought it said um, Vine Whip because I looked at the Vine Whip move and I only went one to the right. And I didn't go downwards, so I clicked on sleep powder on accident. But we took out the Geo dude. that's nice. Geodudes are super, super easy to take out if you have super effective Pokemon. So let's take out this Onyx here with a... I want to see if Razor Leaf actually takes him out. I don't remember if Razor Leaf is a special attacking move in this gen. I'm pretty sure it is. So I'm confident this will take him out in one shot. He went for a Harden. Yeah, easily. Or a Demp. I think it was a Defense Curl. But Onyx is going to go down either way. And we're almost up to level 34. We're actually leveling up pretty fast. Uh, usually I don't have this high of level Pokemon at this part in the game. Level grind can make a huge difference. But if you come over here, you'll be able to pick up a na Naba? Nanaba? Nanab Berry? I think that's what it's called. I don't know what it's useful for, but if you want to get a free berry, you could do that. Who do we want to fight? Let's fight the hiker first. We, uh, actually, I don't have my light bulb out in front. I switched it out. I didn't, uh, actually switch it out before the battle. So, Robin's gonna have to come up against a Onyx and a, actually, a little bit of different, um, here on this, uh, team here. We've got a Graveler as well. I kind of just want to go for an Aerial Ace. Let's see. Let's see how strong Robin is. That does a pretty decent amount of damage, but he's going to go for a buy. Not going to hit, though. Um, let's switch out. I don't think Robin... If he has Rock Throw, which I don't know if he does or not. I don't know what these Pokemon's moves are. But if he has Rock Throw, Robin isn't going to live that, I don't think. Robin, uh, super weak to Rock type moves, no matter... Well, it doesn't matter on the level, but... I think Onyx is a high enough level to Oko my Robin. Because Robin doesn't have the greatest defenses in the world. Mostly if he went for Screech or something on me beforehand. So we're going to take him out with a Vine Whip right here. And almost up to that level 34 still. So Graveler. Graveler and Geodude and what's the final evolution? I think it's Golem. One of those Pokemon I wanted to have on my team. But I usually use Graveler and Golem a lot throughout this whole walkthrough. So I kind of just want to use Sand Slash instead. Just because I, I want to have a little bit more fun with different Pokemon. When you play a game over and over again, like for example, I've played Leaf Green at least 10 times in a row, you do get bored here and there of using the same Pokemon over and over again. I think usually when I play Leaf Green, I'll... Dang, you got a critical hit! We I don't think... We might have died from that, but I have no idea. Because I didn't watch how much the last one did. But I'm confident we could outspeed with Roshi here. I'm not worried about that. We were paralyzed, so that was a factor that um, 
kill, killed us pretty much, so... And we don't have any water pulses left. It's gonna come down to the wire here. I don't know who we could actually use to take out this Graveler. We can send out our Robin here, but... Robin won't be able to take him out in a lot of attacks. Bite's doing a lot of damage here anyway, so... Roshi actually might be able to take out this Graveler. He's gonna keep going for Defense Curl. I don't know why, though. Uh, you're not really accomplishing anything here. So Roshi's gonna go up to level 25. Nice and clean level 25 here, and he's gonna learn Dragon Rage. Okay guys, when you have Dragon Rage on one of your Pokemon at the start of the game, it's probably one of the most OP moves you could ever use, just because it does a guaranteed 40 damage every single time. As you can see here, Roshi even only has um, 89 HP points, so three Dragon Rages will take it him out, which is actually super good if you don't have a super effective move move normally. And most Pokemon under the levels of like 50 and stuff will only have HP points of 40 or like even 30s, so you'll Oko them every time. But at this point in the game, it, it's still useful, but I mean, it's not as useful as it could be. Um, I wish we actually leveled up Roshi a little bit earlier on in the game so we could have used Dragon Rage. We definitely would have swept through a few gyms like um, Lieutenant Surge and stuff, but hey. I wasn't thinking I wasn't thinking of it at the time and I actually didn't really remember when um, Gyarados learned Dragon Rage. But we're gonna fight this next trainer right here and he's gonna have a level 20 Cubone which we just took out and a level 20 Slowpoke. I don't know what's with uh, Pokemaniacs and Slowpokes and Cubones, but they have a lot of them on their teams. So this should take it out in one shot. Nice, it did. Slowbro's going to go down. And can we go up to level 34? Ah, oh, super close. Not going to happen, though. Oh no, my Pokemon. I'm sorry, man. I didn't mean to obliterate them with... What was that, Aerial Ace? I think I might have used Peck on one of them, which is kind of pathetic, but... We're gonna come into Lavender Town here, and oh my god, this music though, probably, it's not scary, but it's one of those scarier soundtracks in Pokemon, uh, in Gen 1 in Pokemon Green, apparently it caused a bunch of suicides in Japan, which I don't believe, it's like a, it's a myth, but I'm gonna heal up here, and then once I do that, we'll travel around Lavender Town for a bit. Okay, so once you guys heal up your Pokemon, which I do recommend doing, because you'll probably be down after Rock Tunnel and stuff, you can come over to these houses here. Now, there's not that much, actually, that you can do in this whole area of Lavender Town. Um, you can't do anything in Lavender Town in general, actually, until you get something later on in the game. But this is going to be Mr. Fuji's house. He's not going to be in here just yet, because you do have to do that thing first. You have to go through a uh, Pokemon Tower, I think it is, first, before he actually appears in there. And the people in this house will just tell you get to pretty much screw off. But we're going to come into this house right here, and if you want to rename one of your Pokemon, you can do that. Now... I don't exactly want to do this just yet, uh, I might do it in the future, but I kind of like my Pokemon's names. I don't think I'll really change them, unless uh, one of you guys would like me to and it's a popular choice, but you can come and change your Pokemon's nicknames if you messed up on it when you uh, first caught it or something like that. And this final house, I actually don't know what it is, let's, let's look around in here. Oh, it looks like, so this lady right here is going to tell you what happened in uh, Pokemon Tower. It's kind of a sad story, but we won't go into it until we actually go into Pokemon Tower, which we don't actually have to do yet. And the Pokemon Center, uh, not that much stuff. I'll buy some stuff for myself, but it's the norms. You'll have Great Balls, Super Potions. Uh, every time you go into a new town, everything will upgrade, but we're going to buy a few... Uh, super repels here just in case we have to go through some long routes which we will actually will later on and I'm gonna buy two escape ropes as well I do recommend doing this because in Pokemon Tower you kind of want to use the escape rope to get over there and if you're in uh, a few other places later on in the game it will become super useful and one last thing so we can catch our final two Pokemon I'm gonna buy 10 great balls for that I don't know when we'll exactly do that, but when it happens, we'll be set. So anyways, guys, I know this was a shorter episode, but I'm going to end off the episode right here. If you guys did enjoy, go ahead and tell me um, what you liked in the comment section down below. I would really appreciate it. Also, tell me something you didn't like. I'd really appreciate the criticism. Then I can improve these episodes and be inter be more entertained for you guys. I can't speak today. I've uh, stuttered a few times in this episode. 
But anyways, if you guys like this video, shoot that like button with come here, yeah.